What is going on guys, I'm with the Moose and today I'm bringing you a commentary about next generation consoles. Am I excited? What am I looking forward to if I am excited? And uh, you know, what am I a little hesitant on? What am I, you know, not really looking forward to at all? So let's get, get right into it. The gameplay you're watching on screen here is an AK-47 um, Black Ops 1 gameplay as you guys probably see. I have been getting in, into Black Ops 1 pretty heavily uh, in the past few days, but I'll get into that in another commentary and if, uh, at a later date. But uh, yeah, it's AK-47 on Nuketown in Search and Destroy. I'm playing with a buddy of mine. And uh, I do pretty well. I think I go like 7 and 2 or something. So not too much downtime for you guys. Should be a pretty enjoyable gameplay to watch. But, um, so getting right into it. Next generation consoles, as many of you probably know, and maybe some of you do not know, I'm getting the Xbox One. Um, I'm not getting the PS4. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not uh, wealthy enough to get both. <laughs> that's uh, that's for sure. But um, you know, honestly, I probably would get them both if I could. I cannot, so it's it's not really an option for me. But I am getting the Xbox One, and uh, my main reasons for that would be, you know, just just like having so much money sunk into Microsoft games already and Microsoft systems, because I obviously play on 360, um, and I just spent so much money on it that uh, I kind of want to continue with uh, with uh, Microsoft and Xbox and also Call of Duty gets DLC a month early I know it's not a huge deal to most people but since I commentate over Call of Duty games on YouTube and uh, you know the DLC maps in those videos uh, you know are generally fairly popular um, it's very important to you know get the maps early and be able to play them before you know anybody else so those are my main reasons for getting the Xbox One. I might actually do a video on that completely later in the future, but right now we are just going to be talking about am I excited for the next generation consoles since uh, by all accounts they're pretty similar um, in most regards um, other than things like the price and you know l minor features that they have. Most of the specs and everything are pretty close. So the next generation consoles are essentially the same system with just a different name and uh, a few different features as I said before. So. Um, I would like to say I am pretty excited for them. Um, I'm not really excited about dropping $500 in November, but uh, I am pretty excited. Um, the only thing that retracts from my excitement a little bit is that uh, the only game I'm getting, at least for now, on the Xbox One is Call of Duty Ghosts, and I'll already have had it for about two to three weeks because um, I'm getting it when it releases on November 5th, um, which is just a couple weeks from now. And uh, so I'll be getting it then. And, um, you know. So I'll probably have played the game a lot by then. I'll probably have at least a day or two of gameplay in it, if not more, in all honesty. And, uh, you know, so, like, I, how am I trying to say this here? Um, the only game that I'll have is a game that I've already played before, and so it, it, won't, it won't necessarily feel like a new system to me. Um, obviously, the dashboard, things like that will be certainly different. But um, as a whole, it'll probably feel, you know, very, very similar to the Xbox 360. Um, I'm also not really that excited because I'll have to wait a while to get, you know, the, the great third-party items that I already use today. Like, I use a headset, I use a scuff controller, um, and I'm going to have to wait for both of those, you know, to really, you know, to have Turbo Beach or Astro to come out with a new headset, to have Scuff come out with their new controller, which they already said was going to take at least until spring 2014. So uh, it's just a little, di little bit disappointing that I won't be able to use, you know, everything that I like to use um, right away. It might be a little adjustment because I haven't really played Call of Duty without a scuff in about six to seven months or something like that. So it'll, I'll definitely have to, you know, get used to that. But uh, I am very, very excited to, you know, get the get the new console, especially at midnight. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun um, to, you know, play right at midnight. I think it's gonna be awesome. Hopefully, I'll have gameplay up that night of, uh, you know, some Call of Duty Ghosts or maybe that just even like the dashboard, the menu, stuff like that. Interesting stuff that you might find, you know, enjoyable. But as a whole, you know, um, I am pretty excited for the new consoles, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, whether or not you're getting the PS4 or the Xbox One, are you excited for it? Um, and, and why you're excited for it? You know, I, I'd say I'm excited because it's a new step. Um, hopefully the new consoles will bring a whole new wave of games. I'm already liking, you know, the um, what Titanfall's bringing out. I think it looks really, really cool. Destiny looks pretty good. Um... There's a lot of other games that really look re really, really good. Dead Rising 3 looks great. Um, Rise, Son of Rome also looks pretty good. Um, obviously, we we have no idea whether or not these games are going to be good. I really hope and pray that Titanfall is good. Um, and I think I'm going to do a commentary about that you know, later in the week, why I want it to be good and not, you know, bad. Because uh, I know a lot of people in the Call of Duty community probably do want it to be bad because they want Call of Duty to continue, but I'll explain my reasoning for wanting it to do well. 
um, in a future commentary, but I definitely do want it to do well. I think the game could be really, really fun to play, and, uh, you know, it it would be really, really enjoyable to, um, to, you know, play a game that's similar to Call of Duty, but different at the same time. There's not many games like that out there right now, and uh, hopefully we can see that in the future. But, as a whole, guys, as I said, um, I am definitely looking forward to the next generation of consoles. I'm getting the Xbox One, as I said before, as well. But, um, what are you guys, uh, what, what, what are your guys' take? Um, are you getting the Xbox One? Are you getting the PS4? Are you going to wait? Maybe you want to wait and see if, you know, the prices drop, um, you know, after the holidays, something like that. Maybe in the spring the prices will drop. I know I heard a few stories, um, on Machinima that the price of the Xbox One was going to drop by over $100, um, come June 2014, I believe it was. So, uh, I guess if you want to wait until June 2014 to get your Xbox One, maybe you get it a little cheaper. Get it for the same price as the PS4. You know, maybe maybe it doesn't make you feel as bad about buying it. <laughs> um, but for me, I'm too much of a hardcore gamer to, you know, wait <laughs> a little while. Um, even with, you know, the price, um, the kind of ridiculous prices almost. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you did, please leave a like down below. Also, follow me on Twitter at WTMCon. And do not forget to comment down below with which console you're getting or which console you would like to get. Um, if you're going to wait, maybe you're not even going to get a new console. But, uh, you know, comment down below saying whether or not you're excited. Um, thanks, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.